Irish authorities will begin to clean up and count the cost of the worst storm to hit the country in more than 50 years, after Ophelia left a trail of destruction in its wake. At least, three people died in storm-related incidents, police said, while more than 350,000 homes and companies lost power. Telecom's company IRE reported ends of damage across its network, and roads across Ireland were blocked by felled trees. Schools will be closed for a second day on Tuesday and transport services continue to be disrupted. We are moving to post-hurricane stage assessment and remediation, Sean Hogan, the head of the government's emergency response group, said. We are moving on to the next stage. Ophelia is the strongest post-tropical system to rake Ireland since Hurricane Debbie in 1961, which killed 18 people. Damages from Ophelia in Ireland could reach $1.8 billion, Chuck Watson, a disaster modeler at Anki Research in Savannah, Georgia, said. About a quarter of flights at Dublin Airport were cancelled, while it is too soon to give an estimate of the ultimate net cost of the storm to FBD. Unfortunately given its severity, we can be sure that a number of our customers are affected, Fiona Muldoon, chief executive officer of Dublin-based insurer FBD Holdings PLC, said in email statement. While the cleanup is just beginning, some politicians are already seeking European Union help. It will take about a week to restore electricity to all homes. An EU Solidarity Fund will be vital to aid the recovery, Neil Richmond, a senator with the ruling Fine Gael Party, said, given the huge amount of damage inflicted across the country, this will take time, said Hogan, with assistance by Sonali Basak.